Welcome back to the shop. This is a this is the second part of the two-part series about setting up this model, setting up your AS3X and safe. In the previous video, I didn't go into testing it. We never went to the field and test what I did. So in this video, we are. We're going to bring this plane, uh, just bring it up, going to go through, trim it a little bit, and then turn on AS3X and test it. Are those gains that I had on there too high, too low? What, what do I need to do? How do I do that? How do I tune it? But I'm going to go through, what does it look like? Or In my case, because i got to be honest, it flew right with the settings. But I'm going to explain what you're, I'm looking for. And if you do need to change, I'm going to show examples of that back here in the shop. We're going to do the same thing with safe. In safe, you have a couple more settings you can do as far as for angles and, you know, do you want it to climb or do you want it to, typically when you flip safe, you want it to climb, not, not drop or uh, uh, descend. So anyway, I'm going to go through all those things in this next part of this video. Again, this is a beginner type of series. I'm not going to go into all the features of AS3X Plus. I'll have a link in the description that goes to a wiki page that Spectrum created that tells you everything you ever want to know about AS3X Plus and setting that up. So stick around. We're going to go to the field to Maiden. All right. Let's get this thing trimmed up and tuned. Right now we have the gyro turned off and I just want to get it, make sure it needs a little up elevator. I would always recommend that you trim your plane and tune your plane on a perfectly calm day. You're definitely going to get the best results. Climb in a little. Alright. Now we got it flying good as far as trimming. I'm going to flip on AS3X, get up high, flip the switch, and what is she doing? Go full speed, see if she oscillates. She does not. And I'm looking for any kind of bounce and particularly the roll right now. So as I'm doing some of these movers, maneuvers, looking to see, is there a little bit of a bounce? And there's not with the current settings I have. I'm gonna look at, how does it do? Go ahead. I keep saying in this flight, you know, hey, if it's bouncing or oscillating, I wanna kinda of explain what I'm talking about. So if, if the plane is flying at full throttle and everything is just locked in, yeah, locked in on rails, we're good. But sometimes you're going to have a plane that starts doing this at full speed. Or you do a roll or you, know, you do a roll, you come out of the roll and it does a little bump. And you'll notice it. It's just a little bit. You'll come out of a Cuban 8, you'll come over, rotate over, and it does a little bump. Dial down the gains. If your gains are real high and that thing is oscillating like crazy at full speed and or your pitch or yaw is going crazy, yeah, that, that's why we set these things up to have an off switch. Yes, you can back off throttle, but definitely turn that switch off and then make those adjustments. Yeah, in, in a little bit here, I'm going to go into making those changes. And one of the things is the gain sensitivity and there's a multiplier and you could use that also to help out. So anyway, just wanted to cover that. Let's go back to the flying. There is no oscillation for pitch, yaw, or roll with the settings I have. And she flies very smooth. I'm 
pretty happy with that. Now I'm going to show you what you do if you do start having some problems, but I'm not. So the setup I have here, I'm pretty happy with. Now you can absolutely take it further and then start taking it to failure if you want. Depends what your goals are. Let me show you what that looks like if you start making some changes. Okay, let's go into Ford Programming. And first thing we're going to do, it's really important that after you've trimmed the plane and made any changes to the plane, whether it's rates, expo, trimming, it's just a good habit to go into gyro, go into setup, and relearn servo settings. I talk about this a lot. You make any change to that servo, do this. You know, especially if you swap out a servo and you got to reverse the servo and do different things, man, you will destroy a plane. I've made plenty of videos on people not doing this. So please, relearn servo settings. It, it, you can't wear out the button. You know, it, you can't do it too much. So click it. And it's going to come up and say all of them. Yes, apply. And then it'll say complete. Yep. And then you back out of it. Okay. Make some changes to the games. I'm going to go into Ford Programming. First thing I'm going to do is hit Gyro. I'm going to hit AS3X. And here are the games that I can change. Now notice my switch needs to be in. It needs to be on the switch that has AS3X. Not safe and not. Not Flight zero. Mode one. Okay. Manual mode. Flight mode two. AS3X mode. Okay, so here, if I want to make changes, I can make those changes. If it's oscillating like crazy, I'm going to drop it down, let's say, to 30. If it's really bad, okay, there's another thing we can do. Uh, but again, this is how you would change it for roll, pitch, and yaw. And those are standard numbers, 40, 50, 60. You know, you look at a lot of the receivers that come out of the factory, they're already set for 40, 60, 40 50, 60. The other thing, though, is this gain sensitivity. If this is an EDF, I would have probably put that at 0.5. So it reduces the gain a little bit. Well, by half, really. Um, the numbers are the same, but it kind of reduces the sensitivity. It's kind of a weird thing, but that's a way where you can just master, just drop everything down if you wanted to, if it was just way out of control. So just keep that in mind. Most of the time, 0.5 and 1 are suitable. Mine flew great with 1. A fast EDF pylon racer, I would put it down to 0.25 or 5 and test it from there. All right, let's test safe. See how safe works for us. We have to change a little bit of the pitch. I added a little, a little up in the safe trimming. It's safe. So we're in safe mode here, which takes a lot of doing to get it to turn. I have to add a lot of rudder. So, and I think it's climbing just a little bit. So I want to make a slight change to that. But safe definitely is working. I'm going to flip safe off and go into a maneuver and flip that back on. Safe is working fine. So now we have that stability. The only thing I would change is that the stability of the safe mode uh, give myself a little more angle. Be able to turn a little bit more. I'll go into how to do that, make some of those changes. Another thing I would look at is safe. And we're going to have safe gains. That needs to be in Flight safe mode. mode. And mode. those are the gains for safe, 35. If I'm flying in safe mode and it's oscillating a lot, I would probably drop that down again. You know, So you can go through and make those changes. The, the other two, thing you AS3X can do... X mode. Flight mode 3, stability mode. The other thing you can do is go in and change your angle. 
as far as when you're turning. So you want to turn a little sharper, you can turn that into 70 or 80 or whatever. I actually bumped that up to 70, you know, so it does turn a little bit better. I need to add rudder, but that's okay. The other part of this that's interesting and you can play with, when you get into safe panic mode, attitude trim. And what attitude trim does is says when I hit safe, if your plane is diving down a little, well, add a little pitch up. Or if it's if it's di if it's going up a lot, maybe you need to add a little elevator down. So you can do that with this part of it right here. Pretty handy. And go test and do it again. Alright, so made a slight correction to the safe trim, altitude trim. So let's see what happens when I put it in safe. Still climbs a little, but I'm okay with that. And I added a little bit more angle on turning. So that helped out a little bit. Okay. All right, I think we're good. We got a tuned up plane. I'm happy with the AS3X on it now. And uh, yeah, I, I think she's a good flying plane. We'll keep playing with her. You know, and that's the thing, it's an iterative process. Earl, I'm landing. It's an iterative process. You know, to tweak things and tune your planes. So they fly just how you want them. Welcome back to the shop. I sure hope you got something out of it. You know, I, making these videos, it, it's not going to be for everybody. It, you know, I gear these for that beginner approach of grabbing a plug and play plane, buying a receiver, setting it up from scratch, right? And, and instead of doing buying the flies, and that's where a lot of people want, they want that plane, but they don't know how to set up the, the receiver to do things like AS3X and SAFE, and be able to tweak it if need be. I might not have mentioned it, but look, if this plane right here, those gains of 40, 50, and 60 for roll, pitch, and yaw work fine. I didn't need to make a change. As I showed, though, you can make those changes. If this was an EDF, a fast-flying EDF, or a you know, really fast, you know, whatever kind of plane, those gains might have been way too much, and that plane would have oscillated like crazy. So all of those things, all of the tuning, it's an iterative process, like I said. You're going to go through and make changes. I have never just made in a plane and then said, okay, we're good. It might take eight, ten flights of me just playing with it and having fun and saying, you know what, I want a little more throw or less throw or more expo or less expo. So anyway, hope you got something out of it. Again, if you like these videos, please, you know, hit that like button. If you really like everything, you know, subscribe. It makes me feel good and helps my ego on making these videos. Anyway, appreciate everything, all the support. Take care. Have a great day.